traffic negotiation is uh, is everything really isn't it on a motorbike it's what we do it's one of the reasons we like motorcycling it's because it gives us the ability to make decent progress in these busier times but it's also about road positioning and making good decisions and uh, road positioning isn't just about your position left to right in a lane it's your positions fore and aft and situations like this now where I find myself there I play Frogger I don't put myself in, I love them little yellow lights that are in these mirrors, look at that, I was telling them there's somebody there, but I don't put, my, put myself at the side of cars, and it's like, it's like Frogger that when I'm not jumping on cars, but I'm actually going for the gaps between and making sure that I'm, I can, I'm, I, I can see and be seen. Use this gap, reducing the chance of a rear end at that point, just check right as well, just make sure nobody's late, no late comers to the party coming through the green, on your green, coming through a red on your green. I'm already looking 500 metres ahead, as I'm approaching this junction. Three lanes, lanes one and three full, middle lane is empty. Again, we'll back off this car behind, and we'll just take control of the situation here. Lovely. Guy behind's not, it was just edging towards me, but looking to the right, and, as opposed to looking forward, he's just edging forward, but he's all right now, he's stopped. But he was still edging forward and not looking at me, not looking ahead, he was looking to this side. He appears to be chatting on his phone, hands free. So it's one to watch for later on, for the next, when we set off again next. Even though he's doing nothing illegal, his hands free, he's not 100% concentrating on his driving. If he's 80% concentrating on his driving, he's 20% of a chance of coming into conflict with me. So he's one to watch, he's picking up on little things like that. We'll cross here, because any of these cars could swap, like that one, you see it? That's just a little bit of forward thinking from me, covered that off, and if you don't think like that, if you ride like it's not going to happen to you, it will. Same again, so I'm going to move across here and give him a bit of space, he hadn't really seen me. So at this point now, I'm in his blind spot, so I'm just going to flick to that, put myself in a better position. <coughs> Excuse me. I've used this road a lot, and I've used it on previous uploads, and it's there's so much going on all the time, and there's so many little examples of good defensive riding that can be shown here. And here's this frogger, frogger situation here. Don't sit right to the side of these peep cars. Wait to the gap and then go past them. Put yourself in a position where you can be seen and see them. I can look in this guy's mirror and go. At this point I'm going to go across the middle lane, I've got a better view of the road here. Again a similar situation, and watch for the what ifs, what if one of these cars, what if this taxi decides to indicate right. It might then be a situation where we'll see this high ace swing to the middle lane, like that blue one there, and watch this, this one here. Any sort of traffic moving in front of these affects the next one, it's a domino effect, so watch out for the domino effect. What will happen if that car moves to that lane, will it afford the one near you to move? Will it cause a domino effect? 
I'm just gonna take my time and drop back and I can now look at the options of lane splitting. I, I, I didn't have one because I'm, I've got a large commercial vehicle but what I've done instead is drop back here I'm, I've left myself a nice gap I have got an escape route at that point always be thinking of situations where cars might not be concentrating behind you so what I've done there is leave a car width between me a car length between me and the vehicle in front for when I stopped and keeping an eye on the mirrors then if anything any incidents happen behind look at my escape route <laughs> 